Hi, and welcome to the Be Seen, Be Loved show with your host, Chrissy Love. And today we're going to talk about how to elevate your business through branding and expert positioning. So if you are looking to do that, you're in the right place. I'm so, so, so excited that you are here. But first, of course, a little speaker wisdom. There's one thing that I really I try to embed into my clients. Because in the speaker world, I know back from my over 20 years experience that it gets tough. It gets tough. And only the strong survive. Only those people who have been consistent survive. I mean, think about it. Tony Robbins has been doing this for, for over 30 years. But he's consistently putting himself out there. There's so many speakers out there who are not. You'll see them, you know, a couple of months. And then they fall off. You may see them a few years and they get exhausted. They, they fall off. And this business can be exhausting, but there's a couple of things that, that will help you to really, you know, make sure that you're always moving forward. Make sure that you stay dedicated, that you stay true, that you keep doing the work that's necessary to keep moving forward and progressing throughout the years that you stay within this in this arena. And so one thing that helps me and one thing that I really embed my clients to really keep in the forefront of their mind is knowing their why. Why do you want to start public speaking in the first place? Why do you want to get better? Why do you want to get in front of these people? Why do you want to talk about your topic? Why do you want to be in front of audiences? I mean, what's the purpose? What's the bigger picture? And your why cannot be small. It can't be, oh, I just I want to speak in front of you know great you know a great group of people because you know it, that's something I want. I'm passionate about a certain area, nonprofit area, or something that I'm you know dogs. I'm not sure. Your why has to be stronger. Those people usually don't last very long. They don't takes so, so much more than that. You really have to have a strong, deep desire to really want to help transform lives, make an impact using your specialty. And public speaking can definitely help you to do that. But when you're thinking about your why, you want to think on a bigger scale, bigger scale. What is going to make you get up every single morning with a desire and happiness to go out and get it, to crush it every single day, to keep learning and growing. Because listen, I have been public speaking for over 20 years and I still practice my craft every day, at least a few times a week, every single week. It doesn't matter if I'm on vacation. It doesn't matter if I'm not feeling well. I always schedule time to practice my craft. Posting videos is great when I first started in the virtual space. I recorded and posted well, either live or or uh, recorded videos. I did over 403 months because I knew that there are over 5 billion people who use social media on the planet. And I can only touch a few by going to events. So I knew I had to own a piece of the space. And so, but was it easy? No, I had to do this every single day. Some days I would batch maybe 26 videos in one day. Yeah, there were short clips. But what I was doing was one, I was practicing. Two, I was getting familiar with my topics. Number three, after a while of doing this, I felt a shift come along where I found my passion. I found my sweet spot. I found uh, the area within public speaking and, and the target market that really resonated to me, with me and maybe motivated to keep going on. That I found that passion and desire within me. And that's where you want to be. And when you're thinking about that, you know, when you're thinking about how can I muster enough courage and energy to really do this on a consistent basis. You want to think about your why. Think about how if you, could, if you do this every single day and you get better 
and you really go out there and create a very sustainable, lucrative business around public speaking, what's that going to bring for you? How's it going to impact your children? How's it going to impact your family? How's it going to impact your life? You know, life is so much easier and much different when you don't have all the attention units on how you're going to pay bills and how you're going to make this happen and and how are you going to uh, fix this problem in your in your family life? But when you're focused on the big picture, that's what hopefully should help move and drive you toward doing the things that's necessary to really reach the optimal outcome, which I hope is to create that business, right? Create that profession, become the expert that you've always wanted to be. Where people see you, they notice you, they see you as a go-to person in your industry and no one else. That's what we want. We want you at that level, at that level of influence where there is no question who you are, what you can do, how you do it, and how you show up. And so with that, I want to lead into today's topic, how to elevate your business through branding and expert positioning. And so there's a, a lot that goes along with this. What, what you really want to do when you're putting your, you know, your business, your branding out there, when you're putting all of this together is find ways that you can stand out from your competition. Also attract your target audience and build a strong reputation because people are going to check you out. When you are being hired for certain positions, a hire for speaking engagements, your call for keynote speeches, when people ask you to be on stage in front of their audience, they want to make sure that you can deliver. And the only way that they can make sure that you deliver is if they see, what you, see you in action. So there's a lot of things that go along with that. But not only in action, they want to see that you are actually an expert. This is what you do. This is what you know about. You have the, the knowledge and wisdom to really serve their audience at the highest level. And so something we're going to talk about is how to really build trust, increase your visibility, and also, which was probably most important, is how do you differentiate your business in a crowded market of these speakers that are coming and going all day long, right? And so let's dive in. The first thing is building trust. How do you build trust? Listen, the first moment that your name is being called, the first moment that you step on that platform, you have instant credibility in front of that audience. All ears and all eyes are on you. And so you ha have a very short amount of time to engage, inspire, and influence and hopefully persuade them to learn more about you as a person and to create that bond, that connection that hopefully engages them to want more. I want to learn more about you, what you do, what services do you provide, what products do you have? That's the idea. And they can only do that when you're speaking. That's the best way to do it. You can write newsletters all day long. You can talk to other people and try to get referrals. You can DM people all day long. But you're really going to build that connection, the connection that you want, the connection that's going to allow them to trust you enough to pull out their wallet and pay for your products and services when they actually get to know you a little bit more through power, using the power of public speaking. And public speaking can definitely help you to do that. My first uh, paid speaking gig was a training I did for about 45 minutes. It was like $3,000. And they did just that. They saw me speaking. Someone saw me speaking and they were watching me for a very long time and needed help. Uh, in a certain area to help their their employees. I think I spoke on uh, communication and creating balance in the workplace or something like that. I did this virtually at home in my pajama pants and my fuzzy slippers. 
for three thousand dollars for 35 35 minutes and most of that was like really 30 minutes and 15 minutes of q a it was great it was fun at home a lot of people don't make that a month working for a job every day and so think about the opportunities and what that can do for you on a bigger scale remember we talked about our why why do you want to do that think about it and that's a very small amount i just told you my first speaking gig was was three thousand dollars for 45 minutes now it's much more but think about it how can that benefit and change your family and your legacy and so much more so one thing i one quick note is that here's an idea one thing that i suggest is that you take a little note card and write out your why big vision remember big big why and on five different note cards and post that in five different areas that you frequent the most, such as on your computer screen, your car, your bathroom mirror, the place you get dressed in the morning, the kitchen, if you like to cook. So you can see that and you can meditate on that every single day. That's what's going to drive you. That's one of the strategies that I used when I first started public speaking, because it was, it was tough to get the momentum and create a habit around practicing every single day. So do that, do that so that when you are in front of that audience, you're ready. You're ready to give it your all, to serve it your best so they can build that trust with you and want to know more. The next thing that your branding is gonna do, you position yourself as an expert, right? Is going to help you to increase your visibility. Remember I say, I posted live and, and recorded videos over 403 months. What was I doing? I was, one, increasing my visibility, but also I was making myself known. I wanted to be, to be known as the communication and connection expert. So there is no doubt if someone needs a communication coach, they come to me, Christy. And I was able to do that by getting myself out there on a consistent basis. I have clients who post videos every day. I encourage my, my clients to post at least three times a week, if not more. Remember, I did this every day. And so you have to gain that visibility because people want to check you out. They want to make sure that your message resonates with them, with their audience, and that you are constantly doing what you say you do for a very long period of time. And so this virtual space is a great way to do it. Also show them that you do speak, you know, in person in front of audience as well. Now, lastly, what creating your own brand is going to help you to do is just really going to help you to dif differentiate yourself from a crowded market because there's always new speakers coming into the market every day. Everybody wants to be a speaker, right? But nobody wants to do the work. To create a sustainable business around public speaking. They would have the flash here, the flash there, and then they're usually gone after a couple of years. I don't want that to happen to you. And so therefore your branding is gonna help you to stand out and be able to separate yourself from these other uh, imposters, right? <laughs> and you can do that by creating your own title, your tagline, your messaging, your color, photos, videos, you, um, you um, showing you in action on different platforms. Be everywhere, be seen everywhere on a consistent basis. It's really going to help you to stand out. But the key here is to do this professionally. You can't just have your friend or your spouse take photos unless they're professional. I encourage you to hire a professional videographer. And it doesn't have to cost a lot. A photographer or someone who can help your, your brand, your image. Think about all those things. Think about your colors. See my, my colors, the gold and the blue. That's pretty much everywhere. That's my brand. So when people see those colors, they immediately know Chrissy's around, right? Uh, but your branding is extremely important. There's a couple of people I just want to give you some examples about and start thinking about your branding. What are some things that you can do? 
Let's see, Selena Gomez, she has a new cooking collection and she sees beautiful colors. It's like a roll, a blue and a deep mauve. I mean, it's really stand out. So if you're in a store and you see her cooking collection, you don't even have to look for her name. You know those colors are, are Selena Gomez's, you know, creation, her production. And so think about how you can have a bold colors that really resonates with your personality. Harry Styles. Harry Styles may sound like previous singers in his voice. However, he separates himself from other people in his industry by the way he dresses. Think about it. He has unique styles of vintage, kind of feminine mixed with masculine and bold colors that really separates him and creates that, that um, the audience that resonate with, you know, his, his persona. And so think about ways you can do that in your attire, in your branding colors, and maybe certain talents that you have as well. Uh, think about Celine Dion and Mariah Carey. They're not extravagant looking singers, but one thing that differ differentiates themselves from other people is the way that they sing those high, high twos that they can belt out that very, very, very few people can. So that separates them from others, their voice. And I'm sure that they practice those vocal cords every single day to be able to do that. It just doesn't come naturally. They have to practice to be, to, to be able to separate themselves from other singers in the industry. And so think about these things. Uh, if you need help in this area, make sure you comment, contact me. But we talked about a lot of things, how to build trust, right? By being in front of more audiences and speaking about what you do in a way that impacts, inspires them and hopefully motivates them to buy your product and service and want to know more about you. We talked about how to increase your visibility, get out there more and more and more and more on a consistent basis and how to separate yourself from a crowded market of people that's just there for a season and gone, but they'll add a lot of attraction, right? And take the focus off of you. But if you do this on a consistent basis for a very long period of time, that's really gonna is what gonna separate you from them. And so keep putting yourself out there, create your branding, think about who you want to be, think about the best version of yourself and how your colors, your name, your tagline, your your image, your photos. All of those things packaged together, how do they resonate with you? Put that together in a very professional, professional way on a consistent basis. And you, if you need help with that, you know what to call. You can go to my website at www.bcnbelove.com. And I have a new program out called Speak to Riches. You can check it out at www.speaktoriches.com. And pretty much this program gives you everything you need to transform yourself, your company, your brand from looking like an amateur to looking like a seasoned professional. I give you all the tools, the tips, the strategies, the templates, and also the coaching to guide you along through this process so that you can start to create a lucrative and sustainable business around using the power of public speaking. And so with that, my friend, um, that ends today's episode. I look forward to seeing you next week, same time, same place on the Be Seeing Beloved show. Much love and success. Bye for now. Are you a professional struggling to speak confidently in front of others? Do you have trouble giving presentations or leading teams? Are you finding it difficult to sell to clients? At Be Seen Beloved, we understand the challenges you face. That's why we're here to help. With our expert guidance and training, you'll gain the confidence you need to excel in your business and career. Whether you're looking to lead groups, speak to larger audiences, or train people in your corporation, we can help. Our unique approach will not only improve your business connections and increase your income, but it will also lead to a happier and more fulfilled life. So why wait? Take the first step towards success and visit us at www.bassinebeloved.com today.